Friends, hello. Let's think a little bit today about Jesus' words in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 and 29. It's an invitation from Jesus uh, to, to those who are dealing with heavy burdens in life. And so he says to them, come to me, you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. We know that Jesus asks people to bring to him their troubles, their sorrows, the things that really weigh them down. What I think we maybe don't always keep in mind though, is that when by his grace we do come to him, even day by day, with the issues and the challenges and the headaches, that it rejoices his heart to have him come to us. One of the ways in which we can see that in the scriptures is what Jesus describes in Luke 15, where he talks about this prodigal son who goes off and squanders his father's inheritance and finally comes back, but comes back in a way not really knowing what his father's going to do. He's very sheepish, he's alarmed, he's fearful as to how his dad might respond to him. But how does the father respond? He rejoices and he throws a great party and he is so very grateful to have his lost son back. And I think what we don't often consider is that when we come to Jesus with our burdens day by day, that it rejoices his heart to have us do so. That God loves it and it, it just makes him so glad that we are taking seriously the words of our Lord and that we are in fact bringing those heavy burdens to him. What is it that you are carrying today that's a heavy burden? Or even just what we might think of as a smaller burden, something that's an inconvenience, or something that's just kind of wearing us down little by little. What is it that you can bring to him? Do that and know that he rejoices to have you come to him. Because when we come to him in this way, what are we doing? We're coming to him in faith. And it pleases our Lord to no end that we come to him trusting that he has what is best for us. So bring your burdens today to the Lord. Bring the things that are irritating to you, the minor and the major things, and know that it causes the heart of your Lord to rejoice. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, that you are so very good and kind to us. We thank you that your scripture, your word points out to us that you rejoice when we come to you with our burdens. And I pray that you help us to make this a daily thing, Lord, to just give to you everything that's going on in our lives and to trust that you were able to handle them and to bring good from them. We thank you for this and we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Good to have you with me. Please come again.